Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin and today we have a special guest in the house and of course my new cameraman and goes by the name of the DJI Mavic Pro. And that's what we're talking about today. Coming up. How are you guys doing today? It is Thursday and probably the third or fourth day in uh, social distance isolation. Yeah. Hmm. Times. Love the way. Let's um, break it down. The DJI Mavic Pro or any drone you have with a camera, preferably with a 1080p camera or and above. 720p, if that's all you have, what can you do? That's what you have. This will be the best time to have your drone work for you. So number one on my list, how to maximize your drone. It will, first of all, if you're new to this channel, I appreciate if you subscribe. Can you do that right now, please? Thank you. you know, but the bottom line is I'm on a journey. I got this dream that I'm gonna, you know, shoot my movies someday. I got stories, but you know, story is not enough. You have to learn the art and improve the art. And that's what my channel is all about. It's just about my journey to that dream of mine, you know, and uh, everybody that's has a dream you could join in and uh, we could all watch each other grow and I always anytime I see some a coffee maker a youtuber on my channel you know I would love to jump on your channel and follow you as well because that way we all grow together kind of yeah okay let's go to this number one will be use the DJ here at my pro as your cameraman your side cameraman. Camera two, along with it, because the audio won't come in there, uh, unless in the situation where I will explain to you a little bit later. Uh, but generally, uh, you, you have your camera one here and your camera two, uh, the DJI is the second camera, because of course you, you want to switch up between two cameras, right? It'll make it more exciting and all that. So if you don't have the gadgets, the lightings to light up properly indoors, you might want to go outdoors and do use it as a, as a cameraman. You could also use it as behind the scenes when you're doing your tutorials, like you're, like you're rigging up a, a camera, um, you're putting all the pipes and all the uh, rods together. You could have your drone, you know, either stand, standing on a rod, which I'll explain to you how you do it, or you have it flying. It's just that flying, um, you'll be able to control it and get different angles, but it will last only about 20 minutes. So you know, you can, you know, think about how long my vlog was gonna last or how long this recording is gonna, I will need it for. Uh, other than that, if you lay down just on a desk or some form of stand beside you while you're doing it, it will, the battery will last, I never tried, but I think it would probably last uh, an hour, 30 minutes or more. <laughs> so that, that's, a, that's a plus. Um, also for zones that um, are flying is not allowed, some people have forgotten about that and the um, zones um, back in the days there used to be some zones like parks and stuff like that now it's almost everywhere so don't be surprised don't be surprised that the katana is going to come back well this is not the katana this is photo world i went with photo world back in the days in 2017 and um, yeah i will show you how it's set up and yeah you it's a good option. I, I think they discontinued their own. So I'm going to leave the links if you're interested in getting that now. I'm going to leave the links in the description uh, so that you could, um, you know, be able to take your camera where the drone will not be able to let you. Especially of uh, those of you who have a 1080p camera and a 4K drone. You might want to get your 4K drone on. And don't forget, this is a gimbal. This will make your shot steady, okay? When you take it out and shoot, you'll get better handheld footage than, well, most of your cameras, because some of these cameras are crazy right now, like 
crazy. The, the, the stability is like on point. So if you have one of those cameras like me, well, black like the Black Magic. Of course, I will use my Black Magic camera and get my footage because the picture will be better off than this. But if you have a 1080p camera and yeah, this is a 4K, you might want to use this one instead. And um, unless you want to, you know, focus and zoom, then that's your choice. Okay, but just remember you have this as an option. Um, right now, more than ever before, you probably need this. Be one because the regulations uh, won't let you fly around like before. Um, but two, you're in isolation. I don't know, flying in isolation. Hmm. I have no comment about that. The last I use for this drone will be live stream. And now by live stream, of course, if you don't know, you can live stream from your drone. And um, those of you who already are into live stream, it will be nice to keep to use your drone. It will be easier. The only downside is it's in 1080p, and uh, but if that's what you have for live stream, hey, you don't need any other app, you don't need any other um, connectivity, you don't need to buy any other plugins or any other hardware. You don't have to fly it, which means you can get a very long time of battery life and uh, actually vlogging or live streaming. Now. Now, something that uh, you might want to ask, how do you get your sound? If you connect it to the device, your sound will come from this. It's just that the only downside or what you should be aware of, if you're planning to, to chat while you're streaming, you cannot do it with this one. You probably get another phone or laptop or um, device where you actually chat with people on. So why this is a good idea, good um, good way out it's in 70 70 20p which might not be too ideal for youtube it's perfect for facebook uh, you might want to stream to facebook now why would you want to do this the dji micro pro um you need to use it um regularly if you're one of them that is keeping this thing for two three months without using you, you it's better you sell it or give it away you know other than that, you need to use it at least once in a month. Fly your drone at least once in a month. And um, what better way to keep it busy than to to use it as your sidekick, your second cameraman, your your behind the scenes eye, you know, your live stream, you know. So I, I just thought about it. I said this video might be helpful to some people. If this video was helpful to you guys i will appreciate some thumbs ups yeah, give me that thumbs up give me the like um smash the subscribe button if, if if it won't hurt let me know in the description below what you like um if you're going with this uh, if you already have it if you're already using this if you have any other idea how to maximize the drone that will be helpful yeah put it down in the description below and i will be glad to like you know chat down there a little bit and then we'll put heads together see what else is what other tips you guys have there and uh, thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye hey guys youtube just gave me a new feature called the upload feature it allows you to make a donation to support the channel which will be very much appreciated you'll find it just below the screen if you want to support the channel thank you all right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Banky Wellington here, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, giving a special shout out to Alec Godwin's YouTube page. Much love. Nigeria's most wanted. <laughs>